little, little ass cup. What the fuck? Hey, bro. <sighs> Nigga said this profile fake. I bet you feel stupid now, huh? Fuck, nigga. Shit ain't fake now, huh? It ain't fake now, huh, bitch? Puss ass, nigga. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You see them tattoos, nigga. Real niggas know who fuck perp is, nigga. Pussy ass niggas, man. Y'all some fuck niggas, man. Niggas sitting on the phone giggling. <laughs> <coughs> Nigga smoking that, that chronic, bitch. <coughs> Nigga hiding the motherfucker. Yeah, check this shit out though. Um, I'm about to, I'm about to tell y'all some shit. Let me pause this shit. Hold up. Fuck, this shit is slow as hell. Y'all already know I'm finna talk my shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, anyways, hold on, let me see. I, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, anyways, though. So, y'all see the title right here. Y'all see what I pinned? <clears throat> it's a fucking video going around about how a nigga moved his hand. I mean, how a nigga moved the bitch hand from pulling her friend dress down, right? 
So I'm just like, <laughs> this can't be serious. Like, <clears throat> bitches really come on the internet <clears throat> bitching about this shit. <clears throat> this shit crazy. Anyways. Y'all seen that video? Y'all ain't seen this video going around on Twitter about how niggas getting shamed for pulling a bitch, for moving a bitch hand? How y'all niggas feel about that? I'm gonna tell y'all like this, bro. I'm gonna I'm I'm tell y'all like this. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas, y'all niggas record this shit, cause I, I really feel like y'all don't, y'all really, yeah, yeah. This is this is the gold pill I'm finna give y'all. I made this niggas talking about red pill, blue pill, green pill, orange. No, no, no. The gold pill is to stop all this shit that women doing, and I'm finna tell y'all. Listen, listen, check this out. Are y'all ready to stop all this shit that females doing? Are y'all ready to put an end to this shit? It's 53 niggas on here. I'm about to tell all 53 of y'all how to stop this shit, bro. <clears throat> it's 53. It's 50. It's 50 niggas on here. It's 50 some niggas on here. I'm about to tell all you niggas. How to stop all this female bullshit, bro. Hey, watch your mouth, little boy. You hear me? Watch your fucking mouth. Who the fuck is you talking to, Corey Arm? Who is you talking to? Watch your fucking mouth. You understand me, nigga? I smack you, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Now, listen. Watch your fucking mouth, little nigga. You hear me? I ain't the one. Little ass bitch. Now listen. It's 50 some niggas on here. I'm about to tell y'all how to do this shit, bro. I already hollered at the... F hey, yo, check this out. All right, I got good news for y'all. I got good news for y'all. And this is not no trolling shit. This is serious. Y'all take this shit serious. When y'all in here, act like, act like men. Do not come in here playing and giggling. Do y'all record this shit. Don't come in here playing. Y'all know I don't like that playing shit. Come in here and, 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 and listen. If you think it's funny, laugh in your head. Right now, it ain't the time. I'm here to help y'all out. All right. I'm cap, bitch, I'm capping. First of all, Watch who the fuck you talking to, little bitch. You understand me? I will punch you in your fucking mouth. You understand me? Now, I got good news. The good news is... So, all year, women been abusing the laws. The law system. Right? Women got female rights in the law system, right? So... They had, they had a, they had a rule. They they dropped a law this year that said even if you argue with a bitch, you was going to jail. You get what I'm saying? So recently, that law just expired. I mean the 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 um the the violence against. Uh, women law, like the domestic violence law expired. They're not re-signing it though. I'm going to tell you why they're not re-signing it. They're not re-signing it because women have abused that law. They're, they are not re-signing that law no more. Not no, they're not re-signing that. So, 
That mean, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why they not resigning that law for women. <clears throat> because back then, women used to get abused by men back in the day, like in the old days, right? <clears throat> but nowadays, you got women hitting men first. And then the woman to get hit back out of defense. And then they'll try to um, call the police on. So that shit out. Women don't have the, the domestic uh, law no more. They, matter of fact, we in the government shutdown anyway. So with that being said. The domestic violence law is not resigned. It's not being resigned. Even in the government shutdown, it's not. They don't have that right no more because they 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 ruined that privilege. You know how many uh, successful men have gotten sabotaged this year due to that to that fucking to these laws that they gave women. You know what I'm saying? So that's out. That's that's the first good news. <clears throat> now I'm not telling y'all to go around and just punch a bitch in the mouth for no reason. No, I didn't. I'm not telling y'all to do that. But I'm t whatever. What, what, the reason why I'm saying it's good news is because if a bitch try to assault you for no reason and try to hit you when you're not doing nothing to her. And you and you got and, and you defending yourself. Now you won't you won't get arrested for that. But I'm gonna tell y'all something. This is the gold pill. The gold pill is a, a thing that I created to end this female manipulation shit that y'all going through. Cause all y'all niggas being manipulated by a woman right now. All y'all. And I'm about to give all y'all this shit. Number one. I'm about to lay, I'm about to lay rule number one. <clears throat> y'all niggas, please record this shit. I'm about to say rule number one. If you don't record it, you're going to miss out on this live. I am going to save it though, but still. This rule number one. Get ready. Ready for rule number one. Let me know when y'all ready, cause I'm once once I start, I'm not I'm not rewinding, I'm not repeating myself. So you better let me know when you ready. Go to screen recording and record the shit. <clears throat> Alright, let's get it. Rule number one is niggas still saying they ready. This is this is the Christmas. This is the Christmas gift for the world. <clears throat> Rule number one is never be scared to hit a woman, bro. I'm letting you know right now. Never be scared. To put your hands back on a woman. Never be scared of a woman, period. I don't give a fuck how pretty she is. I don't give a fuck how sexy she is and how mean she trying to act and how and, and how and how rude and never in your man dick and balls ass life fear a woman. You know, no woman can't whoop a man. Don't even be scared of a dyke, nigga. You're, if you got dicks and balls, anything with dick and balls should not fear a woman. With that being said, do not let no fucking woman talk to you any kind of way. Do not let no woman Talk to you any kind of fucking way. If you let a woman talk to you any kind of way, you are her bitch. Do not let no woman talk to 
you any kind of way. If she talk to you any kind of way, tell that bitch, bitch, who the fuck are you talking to? Let that bitch know that. You understand? Let her know you ain't finna talk to me like that. And when you tell her that, she gonna be like, whoa, yeah, you not finna talk to me like that. And tell her if she talk to you like that again, kick her the fuck out. Or if she talk to you like that again, I'm leaving your life. Say it just like that. I'm leaving your life, bitch. You understand? And I'm finna give me a new bitch. Do not let a fucking woman talk to you any kind of fucking way. You are a fucking man. I don't give a fuck how skinny you are. I don't give a fuck how fat you are. I don't give a fuck how... I don't even care if you can't fight. Do not let no woman or anybody talk to you any kind of fucking way. Do you niggas understand me? Never... Don't be scared of no fucking woman, bro. You be respectful. But if a woman disrespect you, check that shit. Number two. Do not take no bitches out on no fucking date. Before you fuck. Even after you fuck, do not take her out on no fucking date. Do you understand me? It ain't, do not take no bitches out to eat. Unless you're fucking 30 something years old or 40 something years old and married. Do you understand me? And barely do it when you fucking married. Do not take no bitches out on no fucking dates. If I catch any of you niggas holding hands and taking these bitches out on dates, I'm going to smack you niggas in the mouth. And I'm going to tell you why to not do that. If you take a bitch out on a date before she, you, before she let you fuck, that means she's fucking playing you, nigga. And what playing you means, she's using you. She's using your ass. For laughter. I'm from the fucking streets, nigga. I grew up around the most grimiest and crooked women. And I've heard their conversations. And they're passing it down to women in your area now. In the suburbs. Bitches from the suburbs is moving like bitches from the projects now, bro. This shit is getting real. If a bitch want to go out to eat with you, tell her, if you not paying for my food, then I'm not going. Straight like that. All you niggas need to know this shit. This shit is very fucking serious, bro. If she not paying for your food before y'all fuck in general, don't go out to eat with her. Make sure you fuck first. And when you fuck, do not catch feelings, my nigga. G shit. Do not catch feelings. I don't care how good it is. Don't catch feelings, bro. Because when she find out you caught feelings... It's a wrap for you, bitch. She finna start lying to your ass. Because that's the leverage women have, bruh. They know how to lie. And when they start lying, your dumb ass gonna believe it. So you better not believe it. But that's another situation. Do not take a bitch out to eat before you smash, nigga. I still got all my bitches to this day because I ain't take none of them bitches out to eat. None of them. Nah, nah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I've been fucking, I've been fucking some of my bitches. Oh, y'all, I, 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 I met a bitch in this, in, 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 
the end of the end of 2017. Been fucking that bitch all year. It's been hella niggas trying to fuck this bitch. They still trying to figure out why I fucked this dumb bitch. You know why I'm still fucking? You know why I can still fuck this bitch whenever I want to? Because I didn't take the bitch out to eat. Now, a selfish nigga wouldn't tell y'all this shit. But I'm not selfish. You know why I'm not selfish? Because look at all the niggas that's, that's popping right now. I'm the reason why they popping. Because I'm not a selfish nigga. So like I said, rule number two, do not take bitches out to eat before you fuck and after you fuck. It, you can do that when you're in your 30s and you decide to get married or headed towards your 40s. When she got a ring on her finger, then take your wife out to eat. But if you if you ain't married, you're single, nigga. You single. Stop treating bitches with no ring like wifey. That's the whole point of marriage. If you want to be treated like a queen, you have to get a ring. That's the motto you need to live by, nigga. If you if she want to get treated like a queen, she has to have a ring. That's the whole point of marriage. Why the fuck would you treat a bitch like a queen or wifey if she ain't got no fucking ring on her finger? Are you fucking stupid? I'm doing this because I feel sorry for you niggas, bro. I go outside every day and I see... Niggas holding bitches' hands in public while they bitches looking at me. And I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not rich. I'm a, I'm a regular nigga walking down the street. I'm not the best looking nigga in the world. I'm a regular nigga walking down the street. I'm going to tell you niggas like this, bro. G shit. Let me say it again. We headed to rule number three. Rule number three. Hey, bro. Let me tell you about rule number three. Rule number three is... Never. Never. <laughs> and I mean never. I'm not even exaggerating. Never believe shit a woman tell you, bruh. Never believe nothing a woman tell you. You know why? Because women are like receipt machines when they talk. When receipt machines make receipts, it keeps Printing out different shit. And it don't save nothing. It just create different shit. And it spit out shit. It, but but it's it just spitting out shit. That's how women talk. They don't, they don't think when they talk. They just talk. You ever seen a kid? You ever babysitted a kid that just talk? And you like, what the fuck are you talking? That's why I don't have kids, bro. This is why I don't have kids, because when I babysit my baby sister and my siblings, they just talk. They don't make sense. That's women. The only time women will get uh, rational is when they hit, like, I say they fucking 40s or some shit and older. That's when they'll get a little... That's when you can hold a little conversation. And still then, they still be kind of fucking stupid... Still, they not, don't believe nothing a woman tell you. When a woman talk to you, yeah, you can have a conversation with them, but just talk. Just be like, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Don't take it serious, bro. Because when women talk, they're not thinking. They just talking, bro. Because they don't think. They don't think. All they live for is... Your acceptance. 
As long as you, as long as they know that you, that, that they, that you accept them, they don't give a fuck. This is why women acting like this in today's time. You want to know why women is doing whatever the fuck they want to do? Because they know y'all niggas going to accept that shit. Y'all going to accept them. So when you start to say, you know what, bitch? I'm not even finna fuck with you no more. You ever seen a nigga that wanted to hang with a certain group of niggas so bad and them niggas kept rejecting that nigga? Like, ah, bro, you can't hang with us, bro. You too pussy. You too fake. You, you, you not original. You not real. Like, that's women. That's women. Women are like niggas that, that want to be down. So they do whatever it takes to be down. They, women are wannabes. Like, I'm talking about women. The, the women in our generation, from, from age 30 on down. Even some of them in their in mid-30s. They want to be down. They want to be cool. That's all women want to do. They want to be cool. They want to hang with the cool guys. They want to be accepted. They want to hang with the cool kids. They like big-ass fucking kids, bro. They want to be cool. Bitches don't want to be women no more. They don't want to be sexy. They don't want to be attractive. They want to they want to be cool. So you got to treat these bitches like like uh you got to treat these bitches like you in a treehouse, nigga like, "Nah, bitch, you can't hang with you can't hang in this treehouse. You ain't cool enough." I don't care how fat you is, I don't care how skinny you is, I don't care how how much of a loser you think you is, bro, if a female is around you acting a certain way, that's because she's trying to be cool, bro. You got to understand that. Women want to fit in with men, bro. They look at men like we the cool kids. We the cool kids. Y'all don't know that. Men are the cool kids of the universe, nigga. We're the cool, we the cool cats. We the cool ones. We the trendsetters. We the one that make all the clothes. We the one that pull up in all the whips when the designers and all, man. we the one that make all the lit music. Women admire that shit. They wish they could do that. They're like, damn, bro. I wish I could do all that shit. I wish I could be lit. I wish I could, I wish I could do shit that men do. That's how bitches look at men, bro. Y'all don't know this shit? They look at men like we the cool cats, so they want to fit in. So in, 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 in order to, to keep a bitch in, in check, you got to let that bitch know, look, if you ain't finna be cool around me, you got to get the fuck around me. But you shouldn't even have to worry about that anyway. Because when I get to number four, <laughs> we ain't even going to have to worry about telling her that. But I'm just letting you know, you, you do have to say that. Make sure you know that. Make sure you know that. If she can't act cool, I don't care how pretty she is or attractive she is. If she can't be a cool ass bitch, she can't kick it with you. And once you let her know that, Bro, she gonna respect you. Cause she knows she she knows she a lame. Women are the real dorks, nigga. They the real nerds. Let's go back to elementary school before these bitches found out about Snapchat and all that shit. Them bitches was dorks. They was running around with fucking Skechers on. They was running around with ugly ass clothes on, playing all in the dirt and shit, eating grass, eating frogs and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what women was doing when they was little. They was fucking dweebs and shit. Eating little ants and shit, doing stupid ass shit, digging in their ass, smelling their ass and shit. Oh, weird shit. Oh, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden these bitches is, oh, they, they bad bitches. Oh, I'm a bad bitch now. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't tell me. No, 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 no. Shut up. I remember you, bitch. You shitted on yourself at elementary school and you dug in your ass and, and there was shit on your hand. All right. I know you. All right. You still that same loser. From elementary school. You're a loser. That's how you got to look at women. That's not how you have to look at women. That's what women are. They're losers. They're dorks. They're dweebs, nigga. They just, they just know how to be attractive now. They learn how to be cute. But you can't focus on how they look. You got to focus on how cool they are. If they're not cool enough, then they can't hang with you. Dismiss that shit. Number four. Rule number four. Only, 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 only keep it sexual. 
This shit saved my life. It kept me from stress. That's why you don't see me on social media. Unless it's a bitch I'm fucking. I'm only saying keep number four is to help men and women. Because when you hit bitches up, keep it sexual. I'm going to tell you how. Let them know firsthand that look, yo, I just want like, it's a, just let them know like, yo, I just, I just want to, you know, be friends with benefits. I want to keep it sexual. You know, I don't want to further that. I don't, I don't want no, let them know because y'all stupid ass niggas got these bitches thinking that they supposed to get cuffed and then be friends with benefits. No, hell no. No, these bitches is getting crazy with this dick. These bitches getting crazy. They won't even let niggas fuck other bitches no more. And they single. Stop fucking trying to cuff females, bro. She's going to do what she want to do anyway. Do you understand me? That goes back to the last rule. Don't. Listen to what she's telling you. Judge her by her actions. Always judge a woman by her actions. So if a woman is laying on top of you, playing with your dick and saying, I don't know. I I I, I don't know if if I should do this. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna have sex. I don't I usually don't just Nigga, grab her head. Nigga, grab her head. Move, remove her hand and slowly put her face on your dick. And she going to get the sucking. All right? Because she's already jacking your dick. Hello? Is anybody home? Hello? As soon as she start sucking your dick, get ready to fuck. Because here it goes. She's a fucking freak. This nigga said, I'm not trying to catch no rape charge. Okay, Mr. Bitch Boy. I'm going to tell you how to defeat that purpose. Since you're so scary. That's why you get a cell phone and press record. Record the conversation. So when the feds start hearing her moan, they're going to be like, uh, okay, this doesn't sound like rape, ma'am. This sounds like intercourse here. Yeah, it is intercourse because... Um, your honor, she was playing with my dick, um, while we, you know, she was, um, you know, trying to stop herself from getting aroused. But it was too late, your honor. She was already fucking wet. Yeah. Oh, I understand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. Or, you definitely going to have to record it on video without her knowing. So, if your bitch ass think you're going to get a un un uh unrealistic rape charge or unbelievable rape, char rape charge that's never going to happen. Because she's already fucking horny. Record the shit. So they can see her being the nastiest little slut that she can ever be. Because we love sluts. We love sluts. And this rule, keep it sexual. This is rule five, right? Am I on rule five? I got to be on rule. Am I on rule five or four? Which one? Am I on, I'm on I got to be on rule five. What rule? Am I on rule five?
I'm on rule four. I'm on rule five. All right, cool. Yeah, rule five. Y'all niggas better not be trolling. I think I am on rule five. Man. Yeah, I said keep it sexual. I, 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 that's that. So, like I said, record it. Keep videos all. Keep videos in your phone. Not to expose. Don't expose them unless you can take it to the judge. All right. Like I so rule number five. This nigga just said I'm telling rule four and two. All right, bet, bet, bet. Rule five, like I said, keep it sexual. Keep it sexual, bro. Keep it sexual. Do you understand? Do y'all niggas understand me? Do you understand me? Only fuck with her for sex. It's okay to talk. You know, when you pull up, you know, y'all talk, you know, laugh and shit, joke around. Keep it sexual. Friends with benefits. Friends with benefits mean y'all friends, but y'all having sex. Y'all not trying to get emotionally involved and all that stupid shit. That's that's just save stress and drama. Keep it beneficial. Keep it beneficial. That's it, bro. Pull up, smoke her out. You know, don't even smoke her out. Just smoke with her. I mean, not smoke with her, but shit. I I want. I don't know. Smoke her out. Uh, I feel like smoking somebody out is buying them weed. So I want to say that. You know what I'm saying? Just you know. She gotta fuck first. Don't, 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 um, like I said, don't smoke her out until she fuck. Never smoke a bitch out. Don't do nothing for a bitch until she fuck. Because when you let, when you let a bitch, when you do something for a bitch before you fuck, she's not gonna, she, she's not gonna take you serious no more. She gon' she gon' she gon' automatically look at you as a a a fuck nigga, a fuck boy, a lame, all that. So don't, like I said, don't smoke her out. Get the pussy first. If she got weed, smoke her, smoke with her. If she got alcohol, drink, you know, drink with her. If she got pit, drugs, pop, turn up with her. If she ain't got none of that, hit the pussy. Get the pussy. That's the other drug. That's all pussy is. Pussy is a drug. So if you ain't got, if you ain't got nothing, I mean, if you already got this shit, but if she ain't got nothing to turn you up with, <clears throat> get high off your own shit. If she asks, can I hit it? Be like... Yeah, I got you later. Hit her with the I got you later. I got you later. That means don't tell her after we fuck, say I got you later. Because you got what you wanted. When you get the pussy, then y'all smoke together. Because she gave you what you wanted first. <clears throat> so like I said, keep it sexual. Do not catch feelings. None of that. Only hit females up when you want to kick it and fuck. They fuck with that shit. It saves stress and drama. And that's going to teach women how to not be dependent on being in relationships all the time. They're going to get so used to it. that They're going to be like, yeah, I really don't. I really like this life. But see, y'all niggas is making females turn into simps, bro. Women was never like this. <clears throat> y'all making women feel obligated to be cuffed because y'all keep y'all thinking that cuffing shit is, 
That shit don't work. Be smart, bro. Keep it sexual. Keep it friendly and fun. And that's going to get them the confidence to, to live how they want to. But see, y'all y'all confusing them. Remember, and this goes to number six. I'm actually sober, by the way. Number six. You don't love her. You just love her pussy. Remember that. Now, we all got that one female we care about, which is true. But this goes to you new niggas. This goes to you new niggas. And when I say we all got that one female we care or cared about, okay, we cared about her. But what that mean? That don't mean she getting cuffed. That don't mean we got to cuff her. That don't mean nothing. It's okay to be like, you know, you know, you hit the pussy, you know, you kick it with her, you know, because you care enough to kick it with her. And then go, because you already told her what it was from the jump. She already know. You fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got a bond. So number six, for all you new niggas that think you're in love. So <laughs> ah, ah, ah. my girlfriend, bro. My, my, my girlfriend. My girlfriend. Friend. You old bitch ass nigga, look, listen to me. <laughs> listen, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. <laughs> You're not in love. I'm gonna tell you what you what you can't get away from. You 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 you, you love you you're addicted to making love to her. You're addicted to how she make you feel when y'all have sex. So you think you love her. That's not love, nigga. That's called, that's called, um, how can I make it fair for you niggas? That's called, uh, you're addicted. To her pussy. It's not even lust. It's not lust. No, it's, it's not even lust at that point. Because the last rule I said was lust. Keep it sexual. Keep it moving. You get what I'm saying? Number six. That's not even lust. That's some other shit. Now for all you new niggas. I'm going to tell y'all what these females do. So y'all know. You niggas want to know why you think you're in love? Because women do spells, dumbass. They're Wiccans. You didn't know that. Women do spells. They do love spells. They do sex spells and all that. Women do that on men to control them. The only way you're going to know and control the situation as if you pray to whatever religion you believe in. Siding with evilness is not going to help. You can't fight evil with evil. All of these bitches do witchcraft, bro. All women do witchcraft on men. When it comes to trying to make a man serve them. This is why you niggas can't get over certain women. It's, and y'all be like, damn, why I can't stop thinking about her? You know what I'm saying? She must be the one. No, nigga. But you know she ain't shit. She's doing witchcraft on you, nigga. 
She probably done took one of your hair follicles out your head and, and, and you know, stole one of your socks and, you know, did some crazy, you know, did some crazy shit. This is what women do. This is why they got niggas doing all type of shit for them. I just gave y'all the secret. You better find one. You better pray to, pray to Yahweh, Jesus, Buddha, uh, Allah, something. You better believe in some type of positive deity. Because that wicked shit, let me tell you something. Just about every rapper that got killed in the past three years wasn't praying to no type of God. No, 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 no real God like Yahweh, Allah, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying Jesus is God, but no, no type of, no type of positive religion. They kept fucking with that evil shit. Leave that shit alone. Don't fuck with that shit. Because women are the devil's advocate. I'm telling y'all right now, bro. Satan controls women. That, that is his soldiers. Do not fucking play. You will not win against them. The only way you will win against a woman is if you convert to a religion. You better find one. You see what Kodak did. Kodak, when it found a religion, he became Hebrew Israelite. If you Jewish... Stick to your Jewish shit. If you're Caucasian, either go Christian, uh, Buddhist, um, Muslim. I don't give a fuck. What, whatever. Uh, what's that other shit? What's the other shit called? I forgot the other shit called. Um, Catholic. Bro, this shit's serious, bro. Because it's in the book. You want to know why the Bible the Bible was made to teach you how to not get manipulated by women. Every type of Bible, the Torah, the 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 court, the Quran, the Bible, the I mean the Christian Bible, all that shit. No, I got the tree of Abraham on my face. Get it, get it correct. It's the tree of Abraham, which is why XXX Tentacion had gotten the tree on his face. You didn't even know that. That's why, that's why, that's why X got the tree on his face for his reason. You better look at how X came out. And you better look at how the devil caught up to him. And we was there, we, we, we was there for X through his, through his battle. We was there for him through his battle. Even when he was mad at me in the beginning, he was, he was not found. He, 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 he didn't turn his self in to the Lord yet. The devil sent Geneva at him. We as in me and Denzel and his family. I'm going to post an interview about X speaking on how when he got out of jail. Right before the Geneva situation happened. How he respected the fact that he now see what I'm on now. Because I'm going to tell you some shit. Look at X's pattern. Look at X before he started making music. He was a good kid. He met Geneva. You saw how he started acting. He went again. He 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 got. He became blind. He became confused. 
And I know a lot of men, y'all are at this point, bro. The sucky bitch Jezebel spirit. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell y'all why y'all think it's cool to be this type, to be seen as this dude that women should should be, a, you know, that, that you think women is going to accept. I'm going to tell you how the devil got y'all minds fooled. The, devil's, the devil controls women. You know why? Because he can only control... The, he can control the body, not the mind. He can't control the mind because once you, once you, once you pray and protect yourself, the devil can't manipulate you. The devil used women as soldiers to say, "Oh, I want a man to present himself this way." So basically, you want a man, you want a man to present himself. In an unloyal manner, you want a man to be unloyal, hateful, deceitful. You want a man to, 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 to fake his life. You want a man to, to not have no, no loyalty in his heart. Which is why you see why niggas be talking about snake shit, slime shit. They think, they think bitches gonna like that. Cause the devil making the bitches say, oh, I want a nigga like that. They, 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 they like a nigga to be like them. The feminine, fem, like feminine ass women, female traits. You want to know what female traits is? Jealousy, envy, all of that shit. Unloyalty. You see how X was acting when he came out. He wasn't stable. He wasn't stable. He couldn't think. He couldn't think. He wasn't making the right decisions. Because the devil sent that bitch in his life. And you saw. And what that led him to. He made a song called I Spoke to the Devil in Miami. He probably did. He probably had a spiritual one-on-one -on -one with the devil in his sleep or some shit. He probably did. He wasn't lying. He was calling for help. He wanted y'all to help him. He was, he was really, you want to know what fuck perk meant? You really, y'all niggas want to know what fuck perk mean, bro? That mean he wanted my help. I didn't realize he needed my help until he got out of jail the second time, bro. So you know what I did? I hit him up. And we chopped it up, bro. We chopped it up. Then he started healing. He started talking to Denzel again. They got on good terms again. He started healing. And I feel like the devil wanted him so bad that the devil just eventually sent his demons to take him out. Because they knew, they knew that X was a prophet from Yahweh. He was a prophet from God. Everybody goes to a, everybody goes through a phase in their life where they just be like, you know what? I'm going to be atheist. You know why y'all feel like y'all should be atheists? Because y'all don't know how to talk to the righteous lords of heaven, bro. And I'm not talking about the concept of heaven, old oh, gates and, and trumpets. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the righteous part of the spiritual aspect of the world, of life, of, of existing, bro. The devil know that a man's best the a man's best friend is a woman. Not no fucking dog. The devil know that a man's greatest ally 
And a man whole completion is a woman. So now he's using women to wipe out mankind and initiate men into joining forces with him through women. Check this out. This gold pill shit gonna teach y'all how to stop the wicked shit and then make a woman realize she is being wicked. But I'm not on there yet. I should my I I if this if y'all fucking with this, let me know. Matter of fact, I don't need to know that. I don't need to know that. I know y'all are. I know y'all needed to hear this. Cause all y'all going through this shit. It's 48 of y'all on here. I know all of y'all going through this shit. And y'all young. So like I said on six. Alright? This is number six. Y'all see what happened to X? You want to know who took X out? Geneva did. You know why? You want to know what led X to that situation? Because he didn't keep it sexual with her. No, I'm not on seven yet. I'm on six. I'm not on seven yet. I'm not on seven. I'm still on six. He didn't keep it sexual with Geneva. Geneva is a female to only have sex with and be friends with. But see, the type of prophet X was, he saw something in Geneva. 